Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. My apologies. Evening, Haytham. I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? And the statesman, because he's so great, thinks his trade as honest as mine. A lawyer is an honest employment, so is mine. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity, both a throat and form. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way out. Black Mall that set word of trial comes on in the afternoon. I already have. And she hopes you will she order fresh. matters. So I need to get away from here. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll Such stop the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. My lazy dog. When I took him the time before, A thousand pardons. I told him what we've come uh, to. My apologies. This is death without reprieve. I may venture to book you. Or Tom Gag. Forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. Or I can get more by her staying in. Betty has brought more goods into our lot to year than any five of the gang. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may, in the common course of business, live at twelve months longer. I love to let women stay. A good sportsman always lets the end of our judges fly, because the breed of the game depends on them. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There is nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman. Was to her I was obliged for my education. And to say a bold word, she hath trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. It's truly built. My observation is right. We and the surgeons are all beholden to women. Hey, 
until you get boy and idiot correct. And my friends know what I intend. Well, not to make them easy one way or other. When a gentleman is long kept in suspense, penitence may break his spirit. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his trial and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, but it's a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to friends in affliction. But it is now my time to look about me for a decent execution against next session. should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Friends, there is no danger! And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. This book is to be believed. It will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that to be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen, 
How fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Yeah, my oh, on the bowl and the old man is a crowd. 